Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. I am smoking my Alpha Classic. Love this little pipe. It's got some rustication on the bottom there. It's a pot in it. Smoking some Samuel Gawith. Full Virginia Flake from 2011. It was sent to me by Full Dottle, Dallas. It is wonderful. So I did the fold stuff and twist on this one because I wanted it to burn slow. And cool. So I could taste it. Man, this is good stuff. As Andy Griffith would say, Mmm, that's good. That would taste good on a crispy Ritz cracker. That's how good that is. Ninety percent of you probably never even saw that commercial. So after my last video, the doves flew out here, landed on the table right next to me here. I had my extension cord all wrapped up on the table, and they just flew and landed right on the table next to the extension cord. So I did some video of that. I'll put that up later. They just come sit out here with me. And I absolutely love that, man. I just love the birds coming and just not being afraid of me. And sitting out here on the deck and not having the dog here anymore. So it's now I got the doves, you know, so. It was kind of neat that one, one day we came out here and they were on Baloo's bed was still sitting out here and couple days after he had passed away and the doves were sitting on his bed man it was just the coolest thing in the world for me to see that I got Baloo's collar here. It's always out here with me. It's always on my tobacco tray. So he's always with me when I come out here. Usually I have it hanging on my tripod, but today I got it on my, I've been keeping it on the trace I bring it in and out with me when I go in and out I never come out here without that tray so it's always on that tray it's got his little name tag on it I miss that boy
He was a good dang dog. He sure made our lives better. He sure did. He gave us 11 years. He was 14 when he passed, and we got him right when he had, just before he had turned three, we started fostering him. And he turned three, and we, we adopted him. Because I couldn't let him go. He was a good dog. Good dog. But it's nice having the doves out here with me now. They're my new company. They just they flew off when I came back out here. They usually fly back out and join me. Unless they're under the table. I haven't seen them come back yet. Sometimes they sneak in here. I don't even know they've come back. They'll land out on the other side of the car and then they walk in here. I love nature, man. I just love... I love nature. I love watching... the birds. You know, I talked in one of my videos about how we used to get the monarch butterflies migrating through here and how I hadn't seen monarch butterflies in 20 years. And every day since then, I've come out here and seen monarch butterflies flying around out here. Just saw one right over here. But every single day, there's been monarch butterflies flying out here. And uh, that does my heart good. I think a lot of the, a lot of it may be due to the way the world has been locked down. And some of the nature is coming back, you know. Because we haven't been destroying everything on a daily basis like we were. incredibly quiet right now out here <laughs> which is weird I'm not hearing any birds I see a hummingbird sitting in the tree over here just sitting in the tree very top branch but I'm not hearing any birds at all I don't see any other than that hummingbird right there. I need to get some hummingbird feeders and put them up. We have a, a special affinity for hummingbirds in our family here, so. I was telling my wife if we move if we wind up moving to Virginia and we get a place with trees I'm putting up bird houses in the trees to draw birds in maybe an owl box 
I'd love to have an owl as long as it's not a screech owl. I'd love to have a barn owl or something living on the property. Keeping the rodents away. Oh, there's some birds coming back. I remember as a kid, my uncle, my uncle David. They lived in this old house. It was built in 1906. Up in the Bay Area, up in Richmond, California. The East Bay. They had this big backyard. He was a beautiful man. He just really took care of his yards. And uh, but he'd go out there every morning. He'd he'd buy cheap loaves of bread at the store. He'd buy the cheapest day old breads he could find. He'd go to the store and he'd go out in the backyard and just throw break up pieces of bread and throw them all over his yard for the birds. He had birds everywhere. And as a kid, and he had a back porch, he had to go down the steps to get to his, his backyard. And there was a porch up on the top. And I used to go out and sit on that porch and just watch the birds. And he'd have these big bowls of water sitting in the middle of his yard for the birds to come down and drink out of. And he always had a, you know, a couple of dogs. He was a big animal lover, still is a big animal lover. But I think he was the one who instilled all that in me, all the the love for the the birds and the nature. And I wish I had his love for gardening because I do not. up on a hill up here but uh, I just love it man I just love it like I love listening to Peter Piper true light when his, he's got those tree frogs and man, I love listening to those I would love to have those in my yard And I love the, I was back in South Carolina a few years back and the cicadas were going crazy and I loved the sound of the cicadas. They're starting to get dark out here. And uh, man, I just loved that, the sound of that, just sitting in the back porch, in South Carolina and listening to the cicadas and the birds and I look forward to having hopefully having some some yard some yard with some some trees and lots of birds Lots of wildlife. That would be a dream for me. That would definitely be a dream for me. Have deer.
elk and stuff like that coming through the yard that would be just so that would be just so awesome to watch I have friends friend in, in uh, Spokane and he gets elk and stuff coming through his backyard he'll send me pictures all the time that's just the coolest thing I've never seen a he hasn't even asked moose he's had moose come through his backyard I've never seen a moose in real life other than at the zoo I'd love to see a moose from a distance But anyway, this one's gone way too long. I will catch you guys later. Have a great night. God bless each and every one of you guys. Catch you all tomorrow.